Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're taking a break from the Clan Wars replays. Uh, this is going back a couple of weeks, so I just wanted to get this in. We've got Klusner from Flex Clan in the Super Hellcat, and he's platooned with Samich and Scrubber. And this has happened just after the uh, previous um, video with the T71 CMCD. So Scrubber's still in that tank, he hasn't changed his socks. <laughs> Alright, close come to the top here, trying to spot uh, tanks crossing, but it's a bit risky yeah, when you get light tanks, but he's managed to hit that uh, Type 58. And it didn't get spotted there, so that's pretty useful. And he's got the ARL 44, put one shot in, he might just get another shot in before he gets replaced. And unfortunately that didn't go through, but uh, so much magic to get a shot in. So they're already starting to make an impact with the platoon. Yeah, he doesn't want to poke too far out now. The Type 58 is still pretty close. He'd get spotted as soon as he pokes out. But it uh, looks like uh, Scrub is putting some hits in. No, he's put a shot in there. And he does get spotted, of course, but uh, doesn't take a hit. Unfortunately, that Type 58 is still there, not for long. Oh, I bounced off him. How does that happen? But uh, here we go, taken out by Scrubber. Alright, so that's gotten rid of one of the enemy light tanks, but there's still three on that side. And uh, they've lost their 1357. So they're down, but that's interesting. There were four light tanks? No, the Type 58, what's that considered then to be? I thought that was a light tank. Anyway, that's a bit distracting. So, still staying in this particular spot. Power one tank each, but um, there's a big push on the north there, which they might be able to influence, but everything else sort of out of range or in a different spot there. Oh, okay, now we've got this OI. Oh, if he pokes out a little bit further, I'll get a shot. He's just looking for a weak spot in his head. In fact, if you look at the um, when he focuses on the uh, front sprocket, he gets a green readout. Not quite yet, but um, if he just pokes out a little bit further, I'll be able to go through there. But looks like that OI is paying the price of poking out. Certainly regretting that, but um, probably not a whole lot he can do. He's getting worked over big time. I'd say he's tracked in place or he wouldn't. He'd still be. Moving back. And this shot looks like from Scrubber. Right, Clues, and I'm just waiting for the opportunity to get a shot in, but I don't think he will. There goes the OI. So, the enemy's lost a big heavy tank there, but uh, looks like the team in the north is also paying the price now. Okay, they've spotted some tanks crossing Eagle 7. Unfortunately, that shot doesn't go through, but does he get lit? No, he doesn't. So, that's interesting. Their view range not so good. And can you get another shot in without falling off the edge here? That's the trick. No, it doesn't look like it. They are just out of range there. So you might have to relocate here if he's not getting too much uh, of the action. In fact, that's what he's doing right now. So he's coming down to here. Is there any tanks crossing the south that he can get a shot into? Nothing quite yet, but they're definitely taking some hits down there, so not so good. But um, Samich just indicating to Klusner to take a spot up here in the corner. Now this is actually quite a strategic spot. If you're trying to defend the north, um, once the tanks start coming around the corner, you do get shots at them, and they are sort of on the edge of your view range, but it's quite easy to get spotted here as well, so you do have to be pretty careful. But it looks like he's going to get some targets here, except that panther was just uh, visible for a little while, but he's gone down into the ditch here in front, so he is not visible anymore. And he probably realised that his teammates weren't following him around, so he took the quickest exit he could. And Klusner just looking for an angle there, but he's not going to get it. And there he goes, just missing a couple more shots there. There's the Eagle 50 segment that he tried to shoot at before. That's pushed in, so do you have to pay attention? Finally gets a shot in. 
he's sort of relying on the tanks there from lighting them up. And here we go, the Panther has come out now. Clusner finally putting some shots in. He is spotted here, that's what I was saying about this particular spot. It is a bit um, dangerous, but you can pull back below cover. And he's just gone into third person mode with his um, target locked in. And he gets the kill there, so. Now the game's sort of fairly even, they are down on hit points. There's only two tanks down, so it's still sort of game for the winning. And he just misses the shot there on the 59-16. And he ducks down into the corridor here, but now he's got another target here, potentially the VK-3002. Not, not much that 59-16 um, can do down there, except potentially the proxy spot where Clusen is. And we can see that uh, there's only five left on Clues' team, and three of them are his platoon, so just showing the uh, impact they can have. Scrub already, already got three kills. We go, some blind shots coming in, they do know he was there. And luckily he's not spotted yet, but now he's got shot, potential shots in the VK. Just, oh yes, he's managed to get a shot in, and again, he's just getting lit there now. Blind shots coming in again. Sandwich has gone. Oh, that scrubber actually has gone in after the 59-16, but now oh, just missing the potential kill shot. Now the Hummel looks like he's moved up to the, the B3, B4 area. The Hummel and more blind shots coming in. So this is not healthy. But can he get a shot in on the Eagle Seven? Don't think he's quite visible there. Scrubber just trying coming up there to light up the target. Oh, again, okay, there's a Digger Max also, potentially a target. And Scrubber just coming up to the rock to proxy spot, and there we go, there's the Eagle right, he's right behind the uh, rock. So, no real target there. But uh, at least they pulled back one kill. And just noticing there's a T25 2 coming up behind. Can he get a shot in there? Yes, he does. It goes dark, but luckily Clues not not lit. So he's going to put another blind shot in there. Is he? No. All right, now. So we've got the VK and the Eagle 7 up there in the north. It does put a blind shot in there. We don't know if that's connected. It just went dark as that got taken. Now they sort of getting pushed in to this side of the map. He's losing a bit of hit points, but oh, he's got a shot on the 25-2, and he gets killed. So that takes out a dangerous target down there. Yeah, it looks like they've just got the AT-8, so potentially Scrubber Sandwich can go and deal with that particular threat. And circle around. Oh no, he's going to get a shot in. Yes, he does, and he gets the kill there, so Kluzner getting up to three kills now. So six together with Scrubber there. Kluzner with the most health out of the three of them. Oh, that's my old friend, matey213. So that's a bit unfortunate. But in any case, so it's down evens now on tanks, and they are still behind on hit points, though. And... Oh dear, the Jagdpanzer IV has actually crashed, so fallen into a hole. And it looks like the Eagle's trying to come out to do some work. But uh, one shot goes in from Klusner, and he just misses the opportunity to get another shot in. He's gone behind the mountain, so he's gone around to the north. Digger Max is pushing in on where Samich is. He's found the VK-3002. If he stops moving, he might just be able to snipe the top of his turret there. He's moving backwards and forwards. No, I think he's going to be a shot here. No, he's just going into the dirt. Just needs to stand still. Hold it right there, will you? We can snipe your Kapoa. Oh, it bounces off. Now he'll have noticed that. That he's had an incoming shot. He's got his battle notifications turned on. And the shot's going all over the place here. This is RNG at work. Definitely working around the view range circle. What's that VK-3002 just to come back and be, be more of a target, that'd be nice. So 
So it looks like Samich has managed to deal with the Tigamax. Scrubber is still there in the north. Let's still got the Eagle 7, who. Oh, okay, I think he's found the Hummel and the VK. Or at least, certainly, the Hummel up there in the north is where Scrubber is. Let's just see that on the mini map. And there's you know, just thinking, alright, do I push out now and go after them, or are they going to take care of it? So, two tanks up there, they should be able to deal with it, but there's potential for the Hummel to shotgun someone. And in fact, he takes out Samich. That's <laughs> unfortunate, but I think that will open the door for Scrubber to get rid of him. So, Klusnet goes on the move, but oh no, Scrubber's been taken out as well by the Eagle 7. So, it's now just Klusner against two tanks and, a, and an arty. So they know that he was in this bush before, but I don't know if he's moved or not. Are they going to come round from the north, or are they going to come round in? Okay, here we go. There's the BK. Puts one shot into him. Not spotted there. Goes into the hollow. But he's going to come up to get across, so he can't stay there and try and win the game from there. So that's one of them. Surprised that the Arty did not take... Oh, the, the Hummel has come all this way. <laughs> and he gets the kill, so that wasn't a clever move. That gives four kills there to Klusner. And he's closing in on 3k of damage, and uh, there's only 473 hit points left, but that's enough to give him his 3k. So let's just see if he can survive and get rid of those two tanks. So there's the BK and the Eagle 7, so Klusner decides to vacate the bush. It's probably outlived its purpose. Needs them perhaps to continue pushing in. If he stays there in the bush then and keeps firing, he'll probably keep their heads down and this might just turn into a draw, so getting a chance to make the win. Oh, there's the Eagle 7. Has Klusner been spotted? Yes, he has. Avoids the shot from the Eagle 7 to go dark and come up again on top of him, which is what he's trying to do here. Get a shot in Peps from behind the Eagle 7. So two and a bit minutes to go. Is he still there? Yes, he's looking the other way. <laughs> and he gets the kill there, so it is now just Klusner and the VK. And he can afford to take a hit from the VK, to be honest. He's run out of all of his shells except two premium shells. So he's going to have to make sure that he gets the kill here. Two minutes to go. Just enough time to finish this off. Now, which side of the rock is he going to come from? Puts one shot in, gets in. He does take the hit, but he's got plenty of hit points left, so he can push in now. But he's got one shell left, and if he can't kill him with this one, which he should, I think he's just got enough hit points in the shell to get a kill. Does take the hit, takes his time, gets the kill. That was his last shell, and in fact that gives him a Faden's Medal because he's used all of his shells, and in the right way too, no fake Faden's here. Let's go and have a look at the results. Alright, so here we've got the details. Uh, six kills gives him the top gun. He's ended up with 3.5k, so that was a blind shot that went in that we didn't see. Uh, we did see it go in, but didn't get the damage shown, and that's given the high caliber reward for the most damage. Uh, he's also got that very rare medal, the Faden's Medal, and that's about um, using your last shell to kill the last tank in the game, leaving you with no ammunition. I've seen quite a few replays where they fire their last few rounds into the ground just so that make sure they do get this medal but this is a true Faden's medal. That, that's all given him the Ace Tanker Mastery Badge so let's see what that terms means in the uh, experience. So here we go sort of by experience well the platoon's taken the first three spots so not that surprising they're really talented guys. Um, 1371 base for Klusner that's the general Ace Tanker level so that's good and uh, Scrubbers came in next with 1134 and would have got some spotting damage there and Samich picking up 2.5k of damage there, coming in third there and uh, 
him and uh, Klusner basically did the most damage across the teams. Now on the other side, the T28 concept must have been playing down the south. We didn't see that battle, but he did 2k and uh, yeah, no one else did a lot of damage, looks like. So even the ones that were sort of pushing their fight at the top, they really didn't get a lot um, once uh, they were being held back by Klusner. So great result there for the platoon and particularly for Klusner. So thank you for supplying this to me. So he's ended up firing 30 shots. That's his total ammunition capacity. 20 of those shots hit, 17 of those were penetrations to give him the damage total. And you can see nearly 2.3K of that was done at more than 300 metres. But nonetheless, keeping hold of your hit points towards the end gives the opportunity to do what he did, which is push in on the last remaining tank, knowing that you've got enough hit points to soak up a few hits, but get your hits in that you know will kill him. And that was the point of him pushing in. So it cost him all his ammunition, so you can see he had to use all his premium, even though he didn't start using it. So he ended up losing a little bit of money there. The Super Hellcat, if you don't recall, this was a gift tank to people who'd been in the game, I think at least 10 years. I think it might have been the 10-year one, or maybe it was the year before. Um, but uh, basically it was a free tank and it's considered a reward tank but not a premium tank so the um, don't get any special uh, you know uh, financial things but it does let you swap your crews in and out so end up making a loss there uh, which is unfortunate but uh, not much you can do about that when you've used all your ammo any case that was a great battle there from Clusen and the platoon um, hope you liked it if you like the video can you please give it a thumbs up? That will help the video performance. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please consider doing that. We'll have more great content to follow. And thanks very much for watching.